Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys an even faster way to hack your PlayStation Vita or PSTV using Fin Trinity. So basically what this is, it's the same application as last time, but this is a super fast way of installing it. So obviously, you need to get your PSP um, app. Um, well, make sure to watch my preparation video so you can find out which one you need to get for your region. I need to get ApeQuest because I live in the United Kingdom. So I'm just going to go ahead and download this. And it's just going to install onto my PSTV. Okay, so once we've got our game, um, that's going to be downloading, so we can actually just close out of the store. You also must have a PlayStation um, account already on your device. Let me just show you in settings right now the firmware version. On this PSTV, I am running 3.70, um, just normal firmware. So let me show you system, system information. You can see I'm just running normal 3.70. And what we're going to do is we are going to basically hack this and, um, you know, install um, the custom Trinity exploit. Okay guys, so over on your computer, this is going to be very simple. You want to go to the first link in the description to get um, Fin Trinity. Just click on releases and there's actually a zip file we need to download. So if you just click on assets, there's a little arrow. We're just going to click on the first zip file and that is going to begin downloading. Next, we need to get um, QCMA. You might already have this installed. So just scroll down, choose your operating system. I've got Windows. I'm just going to click on the Windows installer. Next, we need to get Python. Now quite a lot of you might already have this on your computer. It's basically like a programming language I'm going to get mine for Windows I've actually already got this but I'm just going to click on download same as QCMA I've already got these um, but once they're done downloading I will show you guys what to do next Okay, so in our downloads folder with our downloaded files, the first thing we need to do is get QCMA, double click on this, and you just want to go through with the entire setup. Now, it's very easy to set up. You literally just click yes, click next a few times, um, select your language, and then you can pretty much just install it from there. I have actually already got this installed. I've been using this app for quite a while, so I'm not going to go through with it because there's no point of me reinstalling it, but it's very simple. Choose your language, click next a few times, and then um, that is pretty much it. So next, we need to install Python, Again, I've also already got this installed, but you can just double click on it and you'll just do upgrade now. Actually, I think there's an update, so I'm just going to go for this right now. Okay, so once you have installed both of them, we can select these files, right click and just delete them. We do not need these anymore. Now get the Fin Trinity zip file, right click and select extract to Fin Trinity. It's just going to put it into a file folder for us. We can then delete the zip file because we don't need that anymore. From here, we want to click on the search icon and you want to type in QCMA. Now just click on this and just make sure it is running in the background. Normally, when you finish the setup process, it will actually be running, but you should just be able to find it down here. You can also just click on this little search icon and it will actually come up and we can right click and just click on settings. Okay, so over in the settings, make sure to go into other and just check it's on the firmware 00, always update to latest version. Also just check it should have created all your folders in your documents. So if you were just to click browse on something like backups, if you just click browse, it will actually locate it and it should look just like this on your documents. Okay, so once we've got this, this should be open. We can just click on OK and it will actually close down. So it should just be running down in the background and when we need it, we can right click it. So what we have to do from here is go back onto our PSTV or PS Vita and I will show you guys what to do quickly. So once we have got our game installed, what we want to do is just go ahead and open up Content Manager. You can always check if your game works quickly, but we just want to go over this. Go over to Copy Content and just press X to load that up. Next, we need to connect this to our PC. So select PC and press X. It should scan and hopefully it comes up. So here is mine, James PC. If your PC is turned on and got QCMA installed, you should be able to find it. Press X on this one. It's then going to ask us to register. So there is going to be a kind of like a number on our computer right now we need to go on our computer see what this is and then we can enter it so here is the number it should just pop up we've got 300 seconds and um, it's going to be different for everyone so don't copy mine but let's just go and enter this on our PSTV okay so once we've got a number um, entered we can go and click on the green arrow now just click on register now just click on next and it should be able to connect to our PC without any problems so as you can see, it seems to have connected. We need to select PSTV or PS Vita to PC. We're going to copy the game across. So go into Applications, go into PSP slash Other, press X on ApeQuest, go down and press X on Copy. Now just press X on OK. So now what's going to happen is it's going to start copying across the ApeQuest game 
over to our computer. So there you go, it shouldn't take too long, about 70 seconds. We're just going to wait for this to copy across and when it has finished copying across to our computer, I will show you guys what to do from there. Now once it has copied across, the loading bar has finished, we need to check if it's in the correct place on our computer. So just on the QCMA settings, we're going to look for applications slash backups, click browse on this one. We need to go into P game, so double click on this one, uh, double click on this right here, and as you can see, here is our game, so it's in the correct place. We can now click cancel, click OK on this, go to the Trinity folder, double click on it, double click on the GUI.py, or it might just say GUI for you, double click on this, and it should just load up. So it's going to load up like this, and um, it should actually be able to locate our game. So as you can see it says here, I was able to find the game, please confirm it's correct. So it's got our PlayStation Network name, it's got that custom ID and ApeQuest. So we're just going to click on confirm. Now it's just going to say patching. Now this shouldn't take too long. If you guys followed my last tutorial, um, we had to patch ourselves. we had to type in all these commands. This one is just going to do it automatically for us. So let's just wait for it. And as you can see at the top, it's actually going to put the output over onto our desktop. So again, we're just going to wait for this to finish patching. Shouldn't really take too long. Um, let's just wait for it. Okay, so once it's done, it's going to say um, finished basically. You can just click on it. Okay, it doesn't actually do anything. So just click on the cross and it will now be done. So what we have to do, back out to our desktop and we can actually find it on here. It puts it in a folder on our desktop for us. So if we double click on this, so we've got the backup, we've got decrypted and then we've got the hacked version. We need to get the hacked version. So what we're going to do, we're going to right click, we're going to copy this, we're going to go and find our QCMA, right click on this, go into settings, then just click on browse on where it says backups, go into P game, double click, double click on this folder and we're going to right click and paste it in here. So there you go, we've got the hacked version and the normal version. We can actually just delete the normal version or you can just move it to this folder. It's entirely up to you. Um, I, I'm just gonna put mine in there for now. So let's go back into QCMA and there we've got hacked. Right click this one, rename, delete the dot hacked at the end. And there you go, we can now copy this across to our um, PSTV or PSV test. So click on cancel and just make sure this is running. Now click, oh, click on this small arrow, right click on QCMA and just go on refresh database. Base. So it's just going to start refreshing the database. This should just take a couple of seconds. And once it's refreshed, we can go back onto our PSTV and let's try and copy across the hacked version. So back again where we left it, let's just click on cancel, press circle to go all the way back to the main menu. And from this time, we need to copy it from our computer to our PSTV or PS Vita. So click on this, applications. Um, we need to find PSP or other. And here you go, ApeQuest. Click on it and now just click on copy. So it's now going to copy it across, click on OK, and it's going to start copying from our computer onto our PS Vita or PS TV. Now this takes a bit longer to copy it across, um, so we're just going to wait again, and um, it doesn't actually take that long, it takes about five minutes or something, but I will be back when it's done. Back on our PS TV or PS Vita, once it is done um, copying across, it should now be installed on our home screen. So we can actually just close out of Content Manager and let's have a look. So here we go, we have now got it. This is the fastest way to actually get the Trinity exploit. Of course, we can just press X, run it, and it will load up as normal. So on the main menu, what we can do is we can install Henkaku, and um, if it actually goes black like this and crashes, what you want to do is restart your device and just try it again. This is actually just like a glitch. It didn't happen to me the first time, but it looks like it just happened to me now, so um, let's just try and do that again quickly. You'll probably get this message as well, just press on OK. So let's just try that for the second time, um, try and install it again. So there you go, we get the um, boot screen, and then hopefully it should just load up. Hopefully it doesn't crash this time either. So let's try install Hankaku, there you go, installing success, download Vita Shell downloading the shell. I think it's recommended to try about three times and if it keeps on crashing um, probably just you know try and do it again. Obviously we can do it a lot quicker this time and there you go Vita shell is being installed and there you go success now we can exit and there you go we've now got our um, PS TV or PS Vita hacked. If we go into settings, we can also find Hankaku settings and stuff like that. So that is pretty much it for this video. That is the quickest way to copy it across. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.
Peace.